Uh, it had uh, um, with the rain that it came down last night around midnight. It was down. Mm -hmm. It was still flowing and it was still below the curb at that point. And you could see some of the street. Uh, this morning when we got a knock on the door from River Rescue and from Hershey, mm -hmm. uh, from Hershey Firehouse. They were doing a voluntary evacuation. And with the amount of water that rose last night until this morning, and I saw how much it was really up to, I said to him, let's go. I don't want to take that risk of staying home and being actually trapped at the next round of river, uh, water rise. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was our first ever evacuation, flood evac evacuation. Okay. So did you live there in 2011? No, we did not. We moved here to Hershey uh, in October 2017. Okay. So how long do you think you'll be staying here? Or staying away from your house? Well, as of right now, we cannot cross our street. Uh, we live on the opposite side of uh, Elm Sunset. So you live on the south side? Yeah. I suppose so, mm -hmm. uh, where the walking bridge was taken out. Mm -hmm. You cannot uh, cross over. So now, I mean, it's not a rest that would take. Mm -hmm. Because of oh, the downpours, one to three inches of rain expected today, mm -hmm. it could rise again. Mm -hmm. So you rode out on a boat this morning? Yes, I did. And did you have your car parked on the street above? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. I was, uh, and it's been sitting up there for, since Monday. Mm -hmm. So did uh, did most of the people on that street leave now? Uh, a few did stay on Sunset Drive. You think they did? Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty. Uh, yeah, they they chose to stay, and, but we are kind of like in the lower end of Sunset, mm -hmm. where all the water is kind of like. Right. Well, when you left, was it over that bridge, that walking bridge? Yes. Mm. Yes, it was. Okay. It was. It was quite over the bridge, right? The water was over the bridge. Walking bridge. Yes. This morning when we left. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was pretty dark. It was uh, breaking. Mm -hmm. yeah. Breaking. Yeah. So who who alerted you? You know that you needed to leave this morning. That it was. It was Harrisburg River Rescue and oh. a volunteer from here from the firehouse. So they were they going door to door? Yes. Mm -hmm. And they were doing some clear outs and uh, they had evacuated a few already. So mm -hmm. they already left. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we just chose. It, it, it took us a few, quite a few minutes to gather our things because you're not awake. You know, you're just your adrenaline's starting to kick in, and you have to gather your things. Mm -hmm. What to take and what not to take for the day or two. Right. So, and we were debating whether to take my my uh, dog to you know break down her crate, bring her, bring the cats along. Bring the you know their crates along. It would have been a lot of weight on the boat, mm -hmm. so they would have had to make two separate trips. Mm -hmm. And I said, "We'll just forget the crate, and we'll just take her leash, and we'll leave the cats here at the house, and they'll they should be okay." Mm -hmm. So this is your dog right here. Yes. And what's she, her name? Her name is Hope, and she is six months old, and she's a golden girl. A golden girl. Okay. Yes. Very good girl. Hope looks like she's. Chilling. You up or were you awake all night? No, I woke up and I was curious to see what was how high the water level mm -hmm. um, was going, and uh, I was uh, up to my steps. It was like six inches above the patio. Oh, above and the patio? Was it above your skirting? No, it actually mm -hmm. went half, it was like a foot below the the base of the the home. Okay. The the floor it was like six inches, but uh, it tore out a lot of the skirting. Mm -hmm. And so there's little, and I removed all this the skirting. Mm -hmm. This I came back and removed all the skirting so that if we have another flooding, it's going to at least just going to be less resistance to go through mm -hmm. the area. My daughter had a uh, a car that was parked in front, and it was taken down about a half, maybe 600 yards, half a mile down. Oh. Was that sitting there yesterday? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I saw that. Then. Yeah. yeah. No. 
It uh, apparently one of the neighbors across the street said they saw it floating at uh, three in the morning. And first, it came on uh, the, uh, the yard, the property between our property and our neighbors, and then the water just took it further down. Hmm. Okay. And, uh, How long have you lived there? Six years. Six years. Yeah. Okay. So you and, weren't there in Lee, though. Uh, no, no, the neighbor yeah. across the street used to own the home, oh, and okay. she moved because of Hurricane Lee. Hmm. And she moved on moving to the top of the hill and to another mm -hmm. place, but. Mm -hmm. Because she was the original owner, well, she was the owner before I was mm -hmm. uh, on that property, yeah. and that's why she moved because of Hurricane Lee. Yeah. So um, you saw the, how high the water was, and, and then what did you do water. this morning? Well, I said, I guess I won't be working out in my patio this morning. <laughs> no, I told my wife and got her up, and uh, they had the search and rescue come to to get us, and we went out the back door. The water was about a foot deep behind us. That so we have trailer. Oh, by the bridge? Yeah. Okay. Did you Where have... all the water is. Yeah. You didn't have to walk across that bridge this morning, did you? I couldn't. No. It was it was gone. She had, she had... You mean it was underwater or it washed away? Well, it what it it, it it's in front of my house, facing mm -hmm. the opposite way from where it was originally. It came off. Of, oh, oh, it came yes, loose. Yes. Oh, did that just happen last night? Yes. Okay. Um, at some point, I don't hmm. know when. Um, okay. No, I. They came over in the boats mm -hmm. and got me. I got myself and my my cats. How many cats did you bring? Three. Three. Okay. Yeah. yeah I imagine they're pretty scared. Yes, actually, they've been very good. They're very quiet. Mm -hmm. um, sure. They they're confused. I'm sure. So, what are you planning to do then? Just wait it out. Mm -hmm. I don't think um, I, I understand the water still, yeah. still yeah, coming down on my side. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't, you wouldn't. Would you be sleeping here tonight, or oh, I'd play not. Or? I, d I don't think no. so. No. If I have to, I'll get a hotel or something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hopefully, I'll be able to get back. Mm -hmm. So, do you think everybody on the street left now? At least oh, on no, I, no, no, no. Oh, even on your side? No, on your side, no. No. Oh, okay. No, you're, it's so, you're are you on the same side as as? No, no, as I'm on the. You're on the other side. side. Okay. And there's still some people that stayed. Mm -hmm. I yeah. believe so. Down the other end from where I am. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, good luck and thank uh, you. Hope the water recedes quickly. Thank you. Again, we are at Hershey Volunteer Fire Company, where residents are staying who had to who voluntarily left their homes this morning, where there was flooding on um, Sunset Drive and East Practice Avenue. Well, actually, most of the night was just wet in the street, and then our neighbor came over probably around four o'clock or so and beating on the door, and all of a sudden. Uh, it's uh, up to the windows in my car, and it's flooded. I mean, it just happened this morning. The water was up to the windows of your car? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So then your neighbor, um, you weren't aware the water was that high? No, no, no. Not at that point. Yeah. No, no. I was, because I was up and down all night trying, you know, run up and down because of the basement. Uh -huh. We were pumping. Oh, you were so, pumping? Okay. Yes. You just couldn't keep up with it? Well, actually, it stayed pretty good. Mm -hmm. I mean... But then all of a sudden, bango, when we went outside, it was a different mm -hmm. story. Yeah. So what, what was your next step? What did you do then? Well, actually, then uh, they came and uh, got us. At least we, we were able to walk out because mm -hmm. we can walk through the back of our yard and get out into the alley, so we were fine that way. Okay. So it was the street that had the flooding? Right, the front of the house. Wow. The East Caracas. So was it into your first floor? It wasn't into Not, not this time. Okay. In 2011, yeah, it was 18 inches in the living room. Really? 18 inches in the living room? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so um, is this, uh, you're here together? Yeah, that's Okay. And can I ask your name? Patsy. Patsy. Patrick. Okay. Nice to meet you. Um, and you have your pets here? No, that one's ours. Okay, and this is? That's Noah. This is Noah. Noah. And he's chilling out here on the floor. Noah. I guess. I'm going to everybody. 
So, um, so how long are you going to be staying? What's the next step here for you? Well, that's what we're waiting to find out, to see what the Red Cross is going to do or what we're going to do or whether we can go back mm -hmm. due to the situation at our house. We're not sure yet. Okay. So in Lee, how long did you have to stay out? Well, we stayed at my son. Five months. Five months. 